Hello everyone, I'm here with my last vlog from New Zealand. We are just driving into Auckland. The traffic is pretty bad over here. They warned us about it before. I made it to my hotel room. The hotel I'm staying at tonight is called um, Sky City and it's actually right under the Sky City Tower? Is it Sky City Tower? I don't know. Um, but you know, the big tower that they have in Auckland. Let me show you how it looks like. This is where you walk in and we have the king size bed, a little sofa, a desk, which is amazing because I can do some editing tonight, and then also a TV. Oh, and uh, here's the bathroom with a shower, which looks like this. my last day in New Zealand today. I just had breakfast. I have to say it wasn't great. I tried French toast and waffles. They were both rock solid and all the pastry that I saw I didn't even try because it looked burnt. I don't really care. I just thought I would put it out there in case you're coming to stay here. I am off to the main street. It's called Queen Street and there's a whole bunch of shops there and uh, guess what? I'm going shopping. I'm not like going shopping shopping. I just need to go to buy one thing. <laughs> a pair of flip-flops because the ones I have with me fell apart as I think I've shown you. A few moments later. No flip-flops have been found. <laughs> I did go to Roxy. They have so many pretty ones but the problem is there's sales like post Christmas sales here right now and all the regular numbers are gone so literally the only size they have left in the store is European number 42. I'm size 38, 39 so not gonna work for me. I came back to the hotel room just to switch my backpack and take my big camera with me because we're off to Devonport now with a ferry. It is just across the harbor. Apparently it's quite a cute little village and there's Mount Victoria in the middle which is an old active volcano and when you walk on top you can see the views of like the whole Auckland. But anywho, before I go, let me show you what I did buy. I actually went to H&M because yesterday when we walked past, I saw a white top with like palm trees. I just thought it looked cute. And then I found some other things as well. So I actually did um, end up doing a little bit of shopping. These are what I call the travel pants because... They're really lightweight, long trousers with like prints, but they cinch in at the ankle and they're like really stretchy and soft and oversized. And I love them for traveling, especially when you go to like a hot place, but you want to like cover your knees. Like these are really handy in Southeast Asia or even today, I think I'm just gonna wear one of these. I normally wash the stuff before I wear it, but special times call for special measures no desperate times call for desperate measures god i'm so tired anyway yeah i'm gonna wear them today because i have literally no clothes left everything is dirty and i only have jeans which are way too hot to walk around all day long so i'm gonna wear one of these today for my little hike and then i also got this t-shirt that i told you about just a white t-shirt with like a pocket detail and this print over here and then an unexpected but really nice purchase is this dress which is very lightweight just goes down to the knees it's a little bit longer in the back and has this v-cut and short sleeves i love that it's so lightweight that you can wear it on the beach but also the material is like the shirt like material so you can also dress it up real nicely and wear it in the city i just borrowed some flip-flops i mean fashion girl i am not <laughs> by the way the reason why i'm not washing clothes in this hotel which i was planning on doing is this four dollars to wash a pair of knickers t-shirt six dollars 
they charge per piece instead of charging for like one load I'm not paying $200 to wash my clothes I could buy a whole new wardrobe with that money Still haven't made it to Davenport, but I went to a gelato place called Giapo. I read online that they have the best gelato in Auckland and it was really good. Now I really am going to Davenport. The terminal building of the ferry is right there. I'm back at the hotel now, it's 10 p.m. I just had dinner and I wasn't planning on talking about it, but I have to mention the restaurant because I've had one of the best meals I've had in my life. I went to the restaurant called Gusto. It's an Italian restaurant and it's located in the Grand Sky City Hotel, which is the hotel right across the road from the one I'm staying in. I'm staying at the Sky City, which is a four-star hotel and the one across the road, the grand one, is the five-star hotel. Around this whole area, there's a whole bunch of restaurants, there's a casino and everything. Um, and yeah, a lot of the restaurants are more like upper scale. This one wasn't the cheapest one either, but it's also not the most expensive. Anywho, the main that I had was ricotta gnocchi with mushrooms and oh my god <laughs> i have never tasted anything like that before the gnocchi were out of this world they were filled with ricotta which is why they were so different usually gnocchi are quite firm a little bit like bouncy and these were like so soft and buttery and when you like put the fork onto them they just like fell apart i don't know how else to explain it but they were glorious <laughs> i need to find a similar recipe or something to have them again because man that was good and the service was top notch as well so yeah definitely recommended gusto now i have a long night ahead of me because i need to unpack my suitcase and pack it again because it's such a mess literally like a bomb exploded in there i'm just gonna give you a, a quick sneak peek i have so many dirty clothes and i had them in a separate compartment but they all fell out and it's just it's it's a bloody mess so the plan is to take everything out and put everything back in folded have i mentioned where i'm even going this is my last day in new zealand but my holidays don't end for another week because i'm off to rarotonga which is one of the cook islands in the polynesian triangle so very exciting i've been wanting to go to polynesia since i was like two <laughs> and i'm also turning 27 when i'm there i kind of regret telling you my age now <laughs> because I'm not okay with it. I'm not gonna show you how I pack because that's hella boring. But yeah, I better get on it because I actually have a really early wake up call. We have to leave at like four, um, five at the latest. Probably gonna sleep for like two hours today, which is, which is fine. I'm going to Polynesia, so everything is fine. Thank you for watching my New Zealand vlogs. I really hope you enjoy them. They didn't go according to the plan. I'm just gonna say it. I had very high expectations of myself, but I didn't have time to do super professional b-rolls and I couldn't really like vlog everything because there were other people involved so I'd be disappointed in myself but also at the same time I follow a few vloggers on YouTube of whom content I really enjoy it's very professional, very sleek and I strive 
to produce like a similar level of content but it never works out and a couple of days ago i was watching a video of one of them who i thought he was doing everything on his own spoiler alert he has five employees <laughs> He has a video editor, he has a cameraman, like a manager, everything. So, you know what? Now I feel a little bit better, I guess. I mean, I still want to improve the quality of my vlogs, but I'm only one. <laughs> I do everything myself. I cannot compete with big ones. I guess that's it. You'll just keep seeing a little bit more shittier vlogs, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I'll try harder, I promise. Anyway, this vlog has gone in the wrong direction now, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. If you did enjoy the New Zealand series, do give this video and the others a thumbs up and subscribe, because I'll have more videos coming. Um, I'm definitely gonna do one in Rarotonga. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye! About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking